Hi everyone, it's Annette and today I want to show you how to make this beautiful envelope box card. I think it just came out so pretty. I hope you will enjoy my video. If you do, please click the like button and do consider subscribing. That helps me make more videos that everyone out there can watch, enjoy and learn from. I want to thank Sam for this wonderful um, idea making this envelope box card. Let's get started. I'm going to use the Kachu Creations scoring board and with the Kachu Creations scoring board you get this measurement plate where you can get the envelope measurements, the envelope box measurements. If you turn it you will get the gift box measurements. This is such a handy tool that's coming with the Kachu Creation scoring board. For the envelope box card, you will need a piece of 8 inches by 8 inches um, cardstock for the envelope. And all that I'm going to do is, I'm just placing the cardstock here onto the measurement plate. And because I'm using the 8 by 8 inch cardstock, here on the envelope box measurements, I will be scoring it at 3 inches and 4.5 inches. So I will start with the 3 inches. So I'm moving the cardstock up to the 3 inch uh, measurement. And then just here, I'm going to score it. I'm moving the cardstock to four and a half. Once again, I'm scoring it. Now I'm just turning the cardstock, and once again, I'm scoring it at three inches. I'm moving the cardstock to four and a half and I'm scoring it. Now I'm turning it again and once again I'm placing it at three inches and scoring it three inches and moving it to four and a half and scoring it at four and a half. Now on this side, I don't want the score lines to go right through. I just want to scoring it up to this score line and this score line so that I can do um, some cutting. So what I will do is, I will only move the cardstock to four and a half and then I'm measuring and then I'm scoring it up to that line. I'm just moving it lightly on the score line and then scoring it from the score line there up to here. And now I will do, um, do the cutting. So first of all, I'm going to cut it here. I'm also going to cut it from here to here. I'm using the Kachu Creation Small Precision Scissor. Now I'm going to cut it from here to here. So you have this. Once again, I'm going to cut this corner here. to cut this corner here and I'm just going to cut from here to here and 
So at the moment it looks like this. You have these two flaps and now I'm cut, going to cut it from here to here and here to here. and here to here. So this is how your envelope box card will look like. I'm just going to fold the score lines. And this is just staying like this. There is no folding here. Now I'm going to use the Kachu Creations Turbo Tacky Glue. I find this glue is perfect for um, actually adhering your boxes and everything that you want to adhere quickly and that it's drying quickly because this tacky glue dries quickly. I'm just going to adhere these flaps. I'm now going to adhere these two. And now I'm adhering this. For the card base, you will need a piece of cardstock that measures 8 by 3 quarter and 8 1 quarter. I'm going to score it with the Kachu Creation scoring board at 4 and 3 eighths. I'm going to fold the scoring line. And now I'm just going to use a pencil and just see where I need to cut it. So I'm just going to make a measurement there and there, there and there. And I'm going to cut it with the Kachu Creations Galatine. Now all that you need to do is to adhere this envelope box onto your card base. I'm going to use the Kachu Creations Turbo Tacky Glue. So here is my finished envelope box card and I think it just came out beautiful. I've decorated it with some mirror board card that I die cut with the new Lavender Love um, collection. I just love these two um, bees. I've also used the Homely Florals Happy Sentiment dies that I've die cut with um, some gold mirror board. And the stamp is from the Vintage Blooms. This is the Sunflower stamp. And I've colored it with the Twin Tip Alcohol Ink Markers. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for joining me. I will be back soon. Until next time, happy crafting, bye bye!